Yo, what is going on, guys? So, one of the things that I feel like that gets mislabeled the most about Madden 20 is that all runners are utilizing the quote-unquote Oakland Tour. And the true Oakland Tour used by elite professional players that are running the ball nonstop over and over again is so much more than just clicking stretch, dive, and calling height. Now, it doesn't look like that. It looks like they're just audibling around randomly and that they don't have any real true reason behind it. And that's not the actual case. Now, this kind of goes into my whole spiel about how Madden is much more of a knowledge-based game as opposed to a skill-based game because it doesn't take a lot of skill, quote-unquote, to run a stretch and dive and hold your joystick up and cut to the left and all that type of stuff, right? It's not that challenging now don't get me wrong there are people that have better run stick than others that's not what i'm saying but in terms of running in general it's all the same concept right you're holding the analog stick up you're juking you're spinning you're you know doing the one cut all that type stuff but although there is a little bit of skill in the run stick part of that the oakland tour in general this year was dominated by people that abused motions. And there are certain motions in this game that give you such an advantage on the offensive side of the ball, whether it's a numbers advantage or if it simply just dumbs out the way that the defenders react or how your O-linemen block. There's, there's so many different things that people don't pick up on. And it was one of the things that I didn't pick up on until really late in the year playing in these CFMs and playing against mostly runners on the competitive scene, I've come across a bunch of different motions that these players have used and used to have incredible success, right? So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to keep everything short, but I'm going to give you guys my six favorite motions and six favorite ways to run the ball and giving you guys essentially what is the true quote-unquote Oakland tour. So I'm going to keep everything short, simple. It's going to be one clip of the video that I'm going to show an instant replay of it. I'm going to get it, make it as, you know, short as simple as possible because obviously there's a ton of people out there that don't like even running the ball, but I don't want there to be this huge misinformation out there about how this is actually ran. And it's something that I don't think there's that many people out there, especially on YouTube that have shown all of these type of motion blocks to their, you know, utmost potential. So pretty much it if you guys like it definitely do me a favor comment in the comment section as always get drop me a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and if you have anything you guys want to see after this let me know because madden 21 is right around the corner so hope you guys enjoy all right guys so we're gonna, we're gonna jump right into this with my favorite motion out there and this is gonna be coming out in strong close and we're gonna be audibling to the eye close slot halfback stretch. Now when you do this, you flick the analog stick to the left. This is going to allow you to be able to hike while the receiver is in motion. And what that does is it basically gives the receiver a turbo boost off the line of scrimmage so he can get to the second level. But mainly what it does is it screws up the ability for linebackers or safeties to shoot that gap while also doing a great job of sealing the edge. This is good against basically every type of run defense that is out. In this clip, I'm showing this against the most popular one being edge blitz, but it works against basically everything and really requires great user to stop. Now, let's get right into the second one, and that's going to be coming out in strong close once again, and this time we're going to be audibling to the I-form close halfback stretch. But what we're going to be doing when we audible to this is we're going to be utilizing a motion of the outside receiver we're going to motion to the other side, hike the ball, and we're going to be good. You're going to motion him to the other side of the field. He doesn't need the set, but you'll motion hike him at that spot. This is going to do a great job against the 335 wide cover one contain. It's either cover one contain or the two man under. These spy blitzes or spy run defenses, this does a great job against because the fullback will get into the flats and pick him up almost every single time. Now, third on the list is going to be the strong close halfback dive. And what we're going to do is against the 335 wide cover one contain, which is the meta run defense. 
we're going to be motioning over the tight end. So once again, this is strong close, halfback dive, and we're just motioning over the tight end. What this will do is it's going to give us a numbers advantage to the outside left. And when we do this, you'll see that you have a really nice cutback lane to the left-hand side. Another thing to note with this one is that if they do spy the safety, the safety will come down to the line of scrimmage as if it's another tell. You see he's much closer to the line of scrimmage as, the, as opposed to the strong safety. So as you can see, really nice cutback lane to this left-hand side that you'll be able to get pretty much every single time. Now, the one we're going to be talking about up next is going to be coming out in strong close, and this is going to be the outside zone. Once again, I'm showing this against the 335 wide cover one contain, and this is going to be very similar to the other one. The only thing we're going to be doing is we're going to motion over the tight end, right? So we're motioning over the tight end once again, but we're hiking once he gets to the left tackle. When we do that, it's going to be really good against that run defense. Now, here we're going to be doing a little bit different. We're coming out in the weak close flex formation, and we're going to be audibling to the I-form close halfback stretch. Now, when we do this, what we want to do is we want to hike the ball while the receiver's in motion. What this does is it allows him to take kind of an outward blocking assignment to where he's always going to pick up that corner. So if they don't have a great play with their user, whether it's a linebacker or safety, whatever the case may be, basically they're never going to get block shed towards that left-hand side. As you see, the receiver has an outward rush, scoops up the guy that is backpedaling, and will seal that edge for us pretty much every single rip. So the final one that I'm going to be showing you here is actually out of strong tight. Now, strong tight, I only use this against dominant man coverage run defenses, whether it's edge blitz, cover one contain, two man under, Basically, if it's man coverage, you can abuse this run defense by motioning the fullback out. Now, you do need to run strong tight flipped. The formation has to be flipped for this to work. But as you see, what happens is the guy that is manned up on the fullback runs to the other side of the field, gets stuck in the middle, you hike, no linebacker is able to shoot free, and then you have the fullback that is motioned out that will act as a lead blocker, kind of at an upward, inward angle and he'll pick up any type of user that is trying to make a play on the ball carrier. So in total guys these six motions and quick hikes allow you to run the true Oakland tour. I hope you guys enjoy.